Well, where else can you wake up, see the sunrise, catch a few stripers, and be in the office by night? <laughs> it's not a bad, bad spot. Coming up and say hello. Stripers, especially the bigger ones, like to sit in the rocks and not, not fight the tide, because um, it's a lot of work to actually move around in a strong tide. So what they'll do is actually bury themselves down uh, behind a rock and then make some slow movements and wait for the bait to come to them. And obviously it's flowing a lot better in the tide. So it's, it's lazy eating. <laughs> Sometimes the big ones will come up and I, I swear they come up and take a look and say, okay, what are we, what are we up against? And then they'll go down. Gip had a sense this one was not that big. I noticed the way this fish is kind of moving around quite a bit, kind of taking me for a ride. And, and the bigger ones, they'll, they'll kind of sulk. They'll just put their head down there, and once you get up and down on them, they'll, you can just tell it has shoulders. And Gip grew prophetic. It's like how I started off the morning. <laughs> that means I know what's coming next, and that's fine. Let go, buddy. A little better, maybe. Would you let me fish? You gotta keep grabbing the net. That's a little Sounds better. Like a much better fish there. Yeah, I think so. I think he loosened the drag. <laughs> Try to maximize every opportunity out here to get that bait in front of the fish and, and present it naturally. And that's the key. It's getting that bait. You know, a lot of people can be out here and they'll mark them and they'll see them, but they can't get them to bite. Just being able to get it to them naturally is. is Usually the difference. You know, this is really light tackle. I want to be straight up now, especially in this shallow water. Again, if they, they head for the rocks, he will break off with this light tackle, so. Cut it that way a little bit. That's good. Neutral? Yep. Gonna be real quiet until he gets in the boat. Never know what can happen. <laughs> and we didn't jinx it. Oh yeah. Nice. Net, huh? Nice one, Gip. Well, should take him and hold him up. It's a nice fish. Yeah, you want to. And get straight up and down on him. Certainly helps the fight. We're pushing 40. What do you got? 39 and a half. Yep. It's a nice fish. There she goes. He didn't want to say anything until he saw it. <laughs> <laughs> you, I made that mistake. You never want to be the. This is the one. <laughs> After success and the tide change, a change of tactics before heading to work. A little deeper water, we're going to do a little power drifting. 40 or shallower is, is tough. You know, again, the motors tend to scare the fish away in the shallower water. So when um, you get out here and you know, 45, 50, anything deeper than that, you can get away with most of the time being able to have the motors running and uh, being able to get, again, that natural presentation of taking that eel and letting him drift with the tide. It's very important. Matching the boat drift with the actual eel, where he's flowing the tide. naturally, yep. the tide. So the eel's gonna go where the tide's gonna take him, and your job is to pretty much hone the boat in on that eel to make sure he doesn't actually feel any um, tension, so the eel's gonna go where the tide wants him to go. And look as natural as possible down there in the process. Nice thing here, too, versus flipping is you're covering so much ground. Your eel is always down. Always down, yep. You're, uh, when, you, when you're using the flipping technique, you, you're really not maximizing. You're trying to hit the hole. The eel's getting down, you're picking it up, and you're kind of cycling through. But if you get a good drift out of this, you can cover a lot more ground and hopefully more fish. But once again, you need fish to catch. Yeah. It's the key to this sport. Yeah. There you go. Always steady pressure on the fish. Never want to horse them. Fish will wear out. Just take your time with them. Short pumps. I think he quite has his shoulders at the last one, but. Not the world record? If he doesn't make it to the boat, he definitely was. <laughs> I 
sir. Let's try. Let's see if we end on the good note. All right. That's good. That's it? That's it. What's the boss making you go to work? <laughs> About that time. It is a weekday, <laughs> but we've had an eventful morning. <laughs> Let's call it a day.